It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. For this video, I'm gonna take the Black Lives Matter test because I have nothing else better to do, so I figured, you know, why not take the test and get my personal thoughts and opinions about it. Black Lives Matter is an activist movement dedicated to protesting against police brutality. Due to the decentralized nature of the movement, perception of the organization is deaf and widely, with some calling Black Lives Matter a timely response to racism and characterizing it as a radical neo-Marxist movement. Actually, there is some truth behind the whole entire statement that Black Lives Matter is in fact a neo-Marxist movement because basically the founders of Black Lives Matter literally stated that they are in fact Marxists. So, that is actually a true statement. It's not opinion, it's actually fact. But anyway, let's take the test right now and see my results for it. There should be a mandated public school curriculum that critically examine the adverse impact of colonization and slavery. I personally agree. Because you need to teach every single last aspect about slavery as well as colonizations, both the good and the bad. So I figure, yeah, I do in fact agree with that whole entire idea. The current equality gap between blacks and whites in regards to income and educational attachment is a large degree due to the lasting negative impacts of slavery. This one's kind of hard to say. Because I do in fact believe that during slavery, of course, black people did in fact receive bad education and of course bad income and of course there was like the Jim Crow laws which also of course were discriminatory against black people and so on so I do in fact do in fact believe that due to the effects of Jim Crow as well as of course like you know black people you know not getting like enough help to get on their feet probably attached of course some sort of level of inequality right there However, as we see right now, currently black people today are in fact successful. They do in fact get rich. If Even if they were like really, really poor, they can get rich. They have high position of power. And so it's kind of hard to say. I think it's also personal choices. Like sometimes people make their own personal choices to do whatever they want to also. So I might uh, be like in the middle right here. In the middle. The government should break up the large bank with the aim of allowing black banks to form. I personally disagree with that. If people want to form their own banks, they should form their own banks. So, not really, no. The American law enforcement system was intentionally created to hunt down and kill black people. I disagree because the American police system pretty much kills anybody for brutality. It does not matter if they're black, it does not matter if they're white, so I don't buy for a single second that police brutality is actually a black only issue. I believe that police brutality is a human rights issue. It should not be legal to check up on a person's past criminal record to determine their eligibility for housing, loans, and so on. This one is tough. This one is like really, really tough. So my bleeding heart is going to actually come out for a second here. So, I do in fact believe in the, like the idea of second chances. I do in fact believe that there are some people who can in fact demonstrate that they want to have a second chance in life and they actually take the chance to be better people. And so, I do in fact believe in second chances. And so, at the same time, if a person does second chances over and over and over and over and over again, you know for a fact that that person is not reliable, so I will be like in the middle for this answer. All jails and detention centers as we currently know them to be abolished. That is insane. That is in fact insane. All prisons should not be abolished. That's like the most insane far left idea ever. Like I know of course that there are some people that go to prison without, you know, some sort of, you know, <laughs> real reason. For example, I don't think that drug users are the exact same level as, of course, you know, murderers or rapists or pedophiles. So I don't actually think that people should abolish prisons because I think that people should also pay by their actions. If someone commits a crime, they should pay the time. So no, abolishing the police, abolishing the prisons is not a good idea because once you start to do that, the whole entire world will become anarchy. And all deportations of black immigrants. 
I mean, it kind of depends on what you're talking about. If you're talking about legal immigrants, I would say no. We should not deport legal immigrants. But if you're talking about illegal immigrants, then yes. And like deport like the freaking like, you know, illegal immigrants. So the answer is actually in the middle here. The death penalty should be abolished. You know, that's like a really, really hard question. It's like a topic that I, of course, feel really mixed about. Obviously, when I see a criminal, you know, do like the most awful crap, like, you know, a terrorist, like, mowing down people with their guns and stuff, obviously, I kind of feel as though that they deserve some sort of justice and that she'd be in the electric chair and stuff. However, even though I kind of feel that way, and I know it's like completely wrong to feel that way, we know for a fact that sometimes there are victims who are actually, you know, not the real criminal that do in fact get electrocuted in the electric chair. And so, I think, um, as far as like the whole entire case about the death penalty, I would say, of course, I do not, in fact, overall agree with that whole entire statement. Even though, you know, I kind of, you know, feel that way, you know, I don't actually agree with the death penalty. All prostitution-related offenses should be decriminalized. I actually agree with the whole entire sentiment about prostitution. And matter of fact, it should not be just decriminalized. It should actually be legalized in this country. Like, the only part that I know where prostitution is probably legal is like Nevada in this whole entire country. But that's it. It does not make any sense whatsoever to tell people that they cannot pay for sex. Like I think if a person really want to sell their body, they should have the right to sell their body and so on. And of course that the woman and the man have personal autonomy of what, what they could do with their body and what not to do with their body. So yes, I do in fact agree with the idea of legalizing prostitution. The exception that a woman should care for both her children and have a career is patriarchal and oppressive. I disagree because that woman also made a choice to of course have a career and she also made a choice to have kids. And it's perfectly fine to be a mom and also have a job. And it's also the same thing for guys too. There are also guys out there who work in business, who provide for the family, who are the breadwinner. And of course, they're a dad and they also work their butt off too. So I don't think for a single second that just because a person's a mom and have a job does not mean she's actually oppressed or been taken down. Police budget should be slashed and the money should be used for social programs. I honestly do not know, so my answer's in the middle right here. The government should ensure a guaranteed minimum livable income for black people. Honestly, I think that's entirely for black people to make up their own mind. Because I think, of course, that if a person wanna have a certain lifestyle, they can ultimately be the determiner for your lifestyle and stuff. And so I honestly disagree with that idea. It is a pattern in history that black activists are killed by their governments. Of course, I would agree with that. America is a country that rewards violence and ignore peaceful protests. That's kind of hard to say. That's like really, really hard to say. Because I think that, of course, the United States actually listens to the civil rights movement. They listen to the women's rights movement. And so I do, in fact, believe that our government have a history of listening to peaceful protests and so i think i actually disagree with this whole entire statement the government and big corporations should pay reparations for slavery and racism i highly disagree the nuclear family structure i.e regarding a couple and their children as the basic social unit should be disrupted and replaced with extended families i disagree automatic software that predicts how much policing a neighborhood requires should be forbidden that is like, you know, really, really hard. Like, really, really hard. Like, obviously, of course, if there's like a crime-ridden neighborhood, obviously the police should be there. But at the same time, there's software that actually spies just how much a person does crime and stuff. I don't know, it kind of seems really, really muddy there. So I'm going to be like a, like a neutral answer for that one. All drug-related offenses should be decriminalized. I actually agree. And matter of fact, made the whole entire drug stuff legal in this country. Modern day policing institutions have the roots in slave caching practices. Honestly, I need to do like more research about that. But I don't think for a single second that the police today, of course, 
have the whole entire roots of, you know, catching criminals because of slavery. I think police have the roots in trying to, you know, have justice in our system, in our society. And so I don't think for a single second it's like, you know, just exclusively black people. And so I might disagree with that whole entire, you know, that whole entire question. It is oppressive to assume that people are heterosexual just because they haven't disclosed otherwise. Here are my results, and of course, I agree with Black Lives Matter 33% of the time. So what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below, and I'll talk to you guys next time. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I won't <laughs> trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.